Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description where you can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too, and it's free to sign up and join, so go ahead and go check it out. But let's see what we have going on for you. Okay, so what's going on for Aquarius? Our square line sign today. Feels like you're completing old cycles, old chapters here. It's like there's there's one part of your life that you're kind of closing out, Aquarius, and you're you're going you're just kind of moving on here. What I also see is that you're gonna be meeting more people that are kind of experiencing the same thing as you, or they're on the same soul journey as you, they're on the same spiritual journey as you here. And maybe that's giving you a different perspective of everything somehow. Maybe it's a healing here. Maybe you're healing from this. They're healing you or you're healing them. We have you connected with the goddess Asa here. But there's some type of healing going on through these people, Aquarius, that's bringing justice. Maybe this, this healing is justice. Maybe this there was a situation as well that I feel like you're kind of just leaving alone. But it's like that situation was very unfair to you. And now it's being made, like, there's there's some type of justice that's happening with it, Aquarius, is what I feel like that is healing you. It's giving you a different perspective, and I feel like it's, it's going to work out. We have a Queen of Wands here. Queen of Wands is the queen that is fiery. She's ambitious. She's passionate here. She's about action. Either can be you. Or it could be one of these people that is on the same soul journey as you, that's that's experiencing the same things as you, Aquarius. And you have a portal, all right, which it is 92424. 24. So this is a portal, Aquarius, You're going through a portal here. And we have you're tapping into your creative side as well, okay? Some of you guys could be like doing something with art, painting, you know, list goes on with that. But let's see more for Aquarius about this. Aquarius is going through a portal. And you're healing. And you're closing out old chapters so far. Okay. Oops. You're releasing. Yeah, you're releasing all this, Aquarius. You're letting go. You're letting go maybe of somebody here, but you're releasing. I accidentally pulled too many cards at once, but you know, it's whatever. You're releasing... You're releasing somebody here that caused a lot of burdens into your life here. It caused a lot of extra things for you to do without you really getting anything back in return from them. Like, and it's not just, you know, we gave with an expectation to give back. It's like this person was very one-sided. So you would help them, but whenever you needed help, they wouldn't help you. Okay, even if they had the means to help you, they just let you suffer, Aquarius. And I feel like you're like, you know what, I'm done with this. So you're done with it. You're letting go of it. You know, the situation was unfair, but there's justice to be had here. Okay. I also feel like you guys have been extremely busy. You've been working a lot. Your investments are going to be paying off for you, Aquarius. Some of you guys may have Virgo in your birth chart, but I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of just going into this hermit mode. There's somebody here with a lot of anxiety. I don't know if that's you or somebody around you, but we have the King of Swords. I feel like you're in this King of Swords mode. I feel like you're kind of in this cutoff mode. I kind of feel like you're in this distant mode of kind of just wanting to be left alone. Okay? Wanting to be left alone. Wanting to just chill. Okay? Wanting to not be bothered. Star. Star is your own card. Queen of Wands is here again. Okay, we had the Queen of Wands earlier. There may be a Queen of Wands wanting to work with you, wanting to collaborate. All right, still hanging on to you and wanting to collaborate with you. This could be an Aries, potentially. Fire sign, Aries. Uh, there's a Queen of Cups here. There's a Two of Pentacles. You may have a choice between a Fire sign and a Water sign. Water's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Fire's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius here. Who you pick, that's going to be up to you. All right. You're going to end up blocking one, maybe blocking both of them. Or there's just two people that you end up blocking for some reason. 
Okay, once again, blocking and moving on. Right? That keeps popping up. I don't really feel like you're blocking the Queen of Wands. It may be the Queen of Cups, but not really the Queen of Wands here. It may just be there was a Queen of Cups that was trying to interfere between you and a Queen of Wands, whether it be your friendship or your relationship. And I feel like you blocked that Queen of Cups because you're like, I don't, you know, get get out of here. Go mind your own business. You know? We have Aos. Aos is helping you rise up towards light. So it's like you guys are rising up towards light. You're you're letting go a lot of a lot of things that made you feel down, depressed, uh, anxious. And just kept you in a very low vibration. You're letting go of that and you're you're moving towards a high vibration, Aquarius. You're raising your vibration here. You're moving towards things that make you feel happy, lighter, freer here. Okay, you're letting go. You're letting go of what has made you feel burdened, other people's burdens here, Aquarius. You're letting go of that. You're releasing. You're going through this big release phase, this big transformation phase. We have you connected with the Palladian star system. We have Athena seeing if you're staying on your true path or not, which I do see you doing. Um Either you're watching somebody, or there's somebody here watching you. It can be. A, I feel like there's spirits. There's spirits here watching you, Aquarius. But there's something here you're manifesting. Okay, we have you connecting with the Night Star Goddess, which is helping you to manifest something, Aquarius. And what that means is that you need to go sat outside at night and speak out your wishes, because that's going to help it manifest it more or quicker here. But yeah, you're sitting in this manifestation mode. Now that you've released, you're free. Now you're free to manifest. And you're stepping up as the leader. Some of you guys may be manifesting being the leader here, being the boss. Some of you guys may be manifesting love as well. What you do with that love, that's going to be up to you. <laughs> but some of you guys could be manifesting that. Maybe the happy love, the happy relationship, Aquarius. All right, maybe maybe somebody here that's into the same things as you. Like, they're at a high vibration. They're also into this this psychic stuff, this tarot stuff here, Aquarius. And I feel like maybe that's just what you've been desiring is somebody here that's that's a little more like you rather than the people that you've been experiencing before here that were just very close-minded to what you're doing. You're just not paying attention to what you're doing, and I feel like you got tired of that once again. So you're wanting somebody here that's that's more into what you're doing. You're leaving the past alone. Okay, some of you guys may have a Leo coming your way. Yeah, there may be a Leo coming your way here, Aquarius. Leo, Sagittarius here. Coming in with a love offer. What you do with them, that's going to be up to you. Let's go over here to these cards to see more. You have the crows here. You have the sun. Once again, you're at a high vibration. You're attracting in high vibrational opportunities as well, Aquarius. So you, what you're putting out there is coming back around to you. Okay? And I feel like you're getting blessed. You're getting blessed tenfold here. So it's like your good karma is coming back around to you here. You're, once again, you're walking away from some things in your life, Aquarius, and you're moving towards the light. You're, you're letting go of what's been making you feel down. And you're going towards what makes you feel happy in your life. Okay? Yeah, I feel like you're letting go of the heartbreak. You're letting go of the breakup. You're letting go of the pain, the trauma here. Uh, there's something here you're getting more information on. There's the page. Okay, we have the solar plexus chakra. Some of you guys may be researching chakras here. But some of you guys may need to connect with your solar plexus chakra. Open that up here is what I feel like maybe your heart chakra as well so that you can manifest Aquarius. So you can believe in your manifestation so you can attract in your heart's desires here. Now we have the solar plexus. So I'm going to go over to these cards. Because these actually have that. I can just move all this other stuff out of the way. Well, that'd be great. So let's see more for Aquarius. Give me the message. Number 37 was seeing. Perspective, truth, knowledge, clarity. You see, you're seeing more. You may, like, I feel like you're seeing the truth, Aquarius, seeing the truth in the situation. 
Here, number 35 with creativity. Imagination, expression, originality, passion. Here. So once again, tapping into your creative side again. Aquarius, number 49 with interconnection. Expansion, oneness, light, divine consciousness. So you're, you're, you're creating something. There's something you're creating. Like you're seeing. Okay, so you may be having a vision of something you want to create. And it's it's something to do with spirituality as well. So you're incorporating your art with your spiritual side, Aquarius. And I feel like this is something you're meant to you're meant to make. Okay. Number 34 with communication. Self-expression, exchange, sharing, connection. You may need to communicate with other people that you've made this or that you're creating it. Maybe share it here. So maybe this is going to help other people learn. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Here, this could be creating the Ten of Pentacles as well. Or it could be... I don't know. Ten of Pentacles is here. Ten of Pentacles, it's the money on this card. It's the family. It's the dog here. It's success. It's victory. So I feel like whatever you're creating, if you were to like sell it here, I feel like it would you would make a lot of money off of it. Like, people would be interested in what you're selling, Aquarius, and it'd be successful. All right, the star. Once again, the star is your own card here. We have the moon. Some of you guys may have Aquarius moon, but even if that's not your moon placement, that's also okay. Still connect with it, whatever that is for you. But I feel like you're looking over your options. What's next for you? What's next in your abundance, your flow of abundance here, Aquarius? You have the crows. Once again, the crows are here. Crows are trying to talk to you. Crows are trying to lead and guide you somewhere. Some of you guys be moving. We have the stars, so I'm going to go back over to the Aquarian Spirit Tarot for a minute. But you guys are popping up as healers. Okay? Healers here. And you're tapping into your healing powers. You're tapping into your spiritual power, your earthly power, Aquarius. There's somebody here that is wearing a mask. There may be somebody here that's hiding how much wealth they actually have. I don't know if that's you or somebody that's around you. Here, but we have Sun God Ra. So once again, Sun God Ra is helping you to create something. There's something you guys are going to be creating. Okay, this keeps popping up in your guys' reading. I keep talking about it because it keeps popping up. Yeah, Empress, once again, creation. You're creating, Aquarius. Some of you guys may be creating your own freedom as well. We have the Prince of Pentacles. The Prince of Pentacles is the prince that's both um, intuitive and practical at the same time. So once again, that can either be you or just somebody that's around you. But we had crows earlier, so I'm going to go over to these crows really quickly. What else do we have for Aquarius? There's something you guys have been upset about. Like, really, really upset about. It could be the situation that was unfair to you, Aquarius. You've been upset, like, this has been unfair, but don't worry. You're going to receive justice for it here. I accidentally pulled two cards at once. But, yeah, I feel like you're going to be receiving a message here that once once you leave that situation alone, once you remove yourself from it, you're going to receive a message that there was justice. Something happened where you got justice here is what I feel like, Aquarius. You also got love coming in. Some of you guys, this situation may have involved a relationship before. Like there was some sort of situation that was unfair and it involved you and another person. But once you leave that alone completely and detach yourself from it, you're going to receive justice about it. Like, um, And then you also may have different love coming in too, Aquarius. What you do with that, that's going to be up to you. But some of you guys may be celebrating. Once again, some of you guys may have a Leo coming your way. See heavy Leo here. I feel like you got the truth of the situation. You're seeing what you didn't see before. There's an opportunity being presented to you that you didn't see before, but you're going to be seeing it. Aquarius, it may be for your financial independence here or your own freedom, and it may be for justice. You're heading off in a new direction. You're shifting. You're changing. Once again, we have the moon. So connecting with your moon sign again. Some of you guys can have a Libra moon, but once again, if that's not your placement, still connect with it, whatever that is, or Scorpio here too, but the tower, you're going to, okay. After you leave 
you're going to receive a message that this person had a tower moment. Their life kind of came down crashing in on them. And you got justice for that. <clears throat> you're focusing on your coins. Here, and you're just walking away from the situation. You're just leaving it alone. You're like, okay. You know, that's done. That's over with. I'm free now. You know, you're free. So you are freeing yourself. Let me go over here really quickly with these cards to see more for Aquarius. You have the spirit world working with you to bring you more of your abundance, to bring you more of your heart's desires, Aquarius. And maybe to bring you somebody here. They're bringing you somebody that is emotionally available. They're emotionally open to give and receive love. This person has a lot of love to give. This person is popping up as a twin flame of yours as well. So once again, they're very similar to you. They're into the same things as you, Aquarius. They're romantic. You know what I'm saying here? So the, the spirit world may be working with you to bring this person in. And you're also cutting off cords with the past here. And there's, like I said, there's different love coming in. So that there's love, Aquarius, what you do with that, that's going to be up to you. And you may be meeting more of your soul tribe, soul family as well. Maybe through this person's family. Okay, but yeah, you see, there was a breakup. And even through that breakup, like there's some things that you knew that broke your heart. But there's still a lot more that you didn't know. But yeah. You know. Queen of Wands is here again. Fire. Fire is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe a fire sign that's studying something, or you have fire in your chart and you're studying something. There's the Ten of Swords. I don't like the Ten of Swords, okay? But there's something that's caught your interest. And maybe people fighting over you, Aquarius. There's somebody here that's going to send you a message. There's somebody here that's going to send you, okay, there's change. You're changing, Aquarius. Your life is changing. Hmm. I feel like there's someone here that's going to present something to you that's going to allow a lot of change in your life. This comes in as a surprise, and this is something that's interesting to you. I have to clarify, why is the Ten of Swords here, though? So what is the Ten of Swords doing here? There's a King of Swords. There's a Six of Cups. It's something from the past. Yeah, there's so, there was so, there was a relationship of the past, or there was a betrayal, and but I I feel like you know the betrayal, but you don't know how deep it goes. Like there's a lot more going on than what you actually knew, Aquarius. Which is uh, God, that's that's not good. But you're already out of the situation, so you're already free from it. We have the higher fence. Justice. See, there's going to be justice for the situation, Aquarius. And some of you guys may end up moving on and getting married to somebody. Not that, not the person that betrayed you, but somebody else, you know? Because you do have somebody else coming in. You're going to be attracting in a lot of money, Aquarius. There's going to be money coming in all day, all week, all month, all year for you. What you want for your life is just up ahead for you. You've been wanting success. You've been wanting victory. It's just up ahead for you, Aquarius. You've been wanting new love. That's just up ahead for you. It's being offered to you, Aquarius. And there is a new love offer coming in. And it's part of your heart's desires here. You've been truly, deeply desiring it. King of Wands is here again. Once again, I get strong Leo. I get strong fire overall. Fire is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this person is like a direct mirror of you, Aquarius. Okay. They're a direct mirror of you, Emperor Aries, here too. All right, it's not the person that's been ignoring you. And even then, this feels like new, new love. You also have the King of Pentacles here too, so I get potential Earth as well. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But overall, I feel like you're just going after what you really want for your life. And if you really want this person, I feel like you would be going after them. Others of you, you may be setting up some strong boundaries with some people around you. Saying no more often. Okay. Once again, we have love coming in. What you do with this, that's going to be up to you. But we have Archangel Raphael that's leading and guiding you and somebody here together. Queen of Pentacles. More Earth here. Again, Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this is what you've been wishing for for some of you guys. And you got success. You got victory. You got success and victory in the love life. You got success and victory within your career as well, Aquarius. But the, you see, 
King of Pentacles. More Earth is here. Okay, but I feel like you're, you're going to be focusing here on your coins. You may have options coming in, Aquarius. Uh, Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is yourself, whether you're male or female. Does not matter. Let's go over here to these cards. See more for you. So you're investing. But what you've invested into is going to be paying off for you, and that's what you've been wishing for. Chariot. Some of you guys be investing into a vehicle, fixing up a vehicle, buying a vehicle, or you're unsure on what to do with the vehicle. The moon. The moon is here again. Strength. We have Leo. There could be somebody here. Leo moon. Okay. There, there's hyper. Okay. There's somebody here that I feel like you know is hiding something from you or you know they're deceitful. So I kind of see that you're distancing yourself from them or you're setting up boundaries. You're setting up a wall against whoever that person is. They may be a cancer zodiac sign. I see cancer. I see Pisces here as well. But either way, I feel like you know some things about this person. Or you found out, or you, you just kind of, you have an intuition about it. So I feel like you're like, uh, no, 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 no. Could do without the stress and anxiety of it. And you're leaping towards something else. You're leaping towards what you've been investing into, Aquarius. You're you see, what you've been investing into is going to be paying off for you. Once again, I see you guys kind of being in this hermit mode. All right? And you're trying to balance out both the spiritual and the material. And once again, we have Leo. Some of you guys may have Leo in your birth chart. Justice, once again, you're receiving justice. Now that you distance yourself from the situation, you're going to be receiving justice for it, Aquarius. And there's somebody here that's trying to come in being all romantic towards you. Again, this person's got the flowers. They got the love letter over here. They got the picnic. They're showing up on the horse, Aquarius. So there's somebody here that is is trying to woo you. They're trying to be all, all lovey-dovey towards you what you do with them that's going to be up to you but this person may want to get married in the future is kind of what i feel like like this this person has long-term um relationship goals with you is what i feel like okay tower this person may be a scorpio or they just come in very unexpectedly here right at the doorway of love haven't gone through that doorway yet uh some of you guys may need to go outside go ground yourself go Go root yourself here. Go connect with the earth. Okay? When you're doing that, you may see some crows outside. Uh, God is about to open up all doorways for you, Aquarius. And it feels like you've been wanting to explore. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. It can... Okay, once again. Some of you guys have fire in your birth chart, or there could be a fire sign around you here. Some of you guys may just choose to be single, and if that's what you want, then sure, choose it. Some of you guys, you know, everybody has different things that makes us happy. So others of you, it may be the new relationship that makes you happy, you know, and that's fine. Others of you may just be being single and being in the hermit mode. Okay, and that's fine too. But the chariot, I feel like you're just deciding to move forward here. You're deciding to achieve your goals here. And once again, the car, Aquarius, or there may be somebody from the past trying to pop back up into your life here. This person could be a part of your family. I also get cancer, the zodiac sign here. But what I also see is I see that there's a large sum of money that's coming in for you, Aquarius. There's the money. There's the family. There's the home here. There's the dogs. I feel like some of you guys may be walking away from this person. This person from the past that's part of your family here. I feel like you may be walking away from them. All right. Maybe because you're trying to find some sort of balance in your life and you feel like they cause a lot of imbalance in your life here. We also get Sagittarius here too. Yeah, Sagittarius with the King of Wands. Okay. Yeah, I get Sagittarius. I get Cancer, the Zodiac sign. But I feel like you may be kind of walking away from them at the moment because it's like they're kind of disruptive in your life and I feel like you don't want disruptions once again there's somebody here that's in their feelings about you okay somebody here that really likes you somebody here that views you as the empress okay if they view you as somebody here that's very attractive to them they view you as somebody here that's like mature they view you as somebody here that they could have a relationship with you know what I'm saying they view you as somebody special to them Aquarius, but for you, I feel like you're not really focused on love. Once again, I feel like you're focused on your future. There's you're you're trying to call in your future, what you've been envisioning for your future. You're trying to call that in. 
And either you've been ignoring somebody or there's somebody here that's been ignoring you. All right, but you're being led and guided here towards something else, Aquarius. You're being led and guided here towards your spirituality. Okay, and, and you're walking away from whoever that person is. You're walking away from either somebody that you've been ignoring or there's somebody here that's been ignoring you. And I feel like you're walking away from them because it's like, you know, that's that's bullcrap. You're releasing it. Once again, it may have made you feel stuck. And I feel like you're releasing it now and you're, you're moving on. Once again, you're just moving on, Aquarius. You're moving on. You're letting go. You're moving towards a new beginning in your life. All right, and we have the universe that's about to bless you with gifts, abundance, money here. All right, we have the rabbit. The rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is abundance. King of swords. King of swords could be yourself, whether male or female. It does not matter. But once again, there's treasure coming in for you, Aquarius. There's there's valuable things coming in for you. What you've been desiring is coming in. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys may be achieving what you need to achieve, getting what you need to get done here, making the money you want, and then kind of just taking a little bit of a break, you know, taking breaks when you need to, but just kind of chilling. And then we have the tower, okay? Or some of you guys may be trying to decide whether to take a break or to take action towards something very unexpected to make a spontaneous move. What you decide to do, that's going to be up to you. Some of you guys may have Aries in your birth chart as well. We have Aries. We have Virgo. I feel like there's somebody here that you're, you're just being distant towards, Aquarius. But I feel like it's because this person has done some things to make you distant towards them here and you've been trying to debate what to do with them but i feel like you're just like you know what i just can't do this so i feel like you're releasing them you're being distant towards them and you're like you know this is just for the best here it's just really letting go of the situation whoever this person is may be trying to talk to you but i feel like you're like not trying to talk to them. you could be ignoring this person remember there's somebody here you're ignoring so i feel like you're ignoring them Aquarius, you're walking away from them you're letting go and you're heading towards a new beginning but they're trying to reach out to you here, trying to see if you, you you want a second chance or something, and I feel like you're like, no, right, no. You got a new money opportunity coming in, Aquarius. Your money's about to be increasing, and you're about to be extremely happy because you're going to be doing well financially, and some of you guys may have, once again, a different relationship coming in where it could be the happy relationship, could be the happy relationship, happy marriage, happy family, happy whatever, you know, happy everything. Some of you guys could end up getting married here. Yeah, I feel like you're walking away from the conflict. You're walking away from the drama. You want peace in your life. You don't want all this disruption that everybody's trying to cause. So I feel like you're you're walking away from that. Kind of going into hermit mode. And you're moving towards a new beginning. Once again, we have new love. There's new love for Aquarius. Keeps popping up in your reading. We have you connecting with the Earth Mother Gaia. Grounding yourself here. Focusing on self-love, self-care. High Priestess. Some of you guys be popping up as High Priestesses here. Somebody here that's psychic, you're intuitive here. There's somebody here that regrets what they said or did to you because it backfired onto them here. Maybe it be, be a, a Pisces, but I feel like you're like, you know what? That's a you problem. You caused it. You wanted it to be this way. You thought you were being funny and you thought you would get everything, but you ended up getting nothing. And that's the only reason why they regret it is because they got nothing. Here, so they were fine with backstabbing you as long as they got something, but they got nothing out of it, so now they regret it. Oh, you, know, you know what? Boo hoo, boo hoo. Right. There's something here you've been asking God for that you are about to receive, and you've been focused on it, so you are about to receive it. It's it's your something here you've been wishing for. All right, it may have been a lot of things, Aquarius. Maybe seven different wishes. And maybe be something here that involves prosperity here, abundance here, Aquarius with the pig. Uh, you guys have been overcoming every obstacle that was in the way of this. And there's something here you decided not to take action towards. All right, we're going we're gonna to have a look at that. What is that first? So what did Aquarius decide not to take action towards? We have strength, 
the nine of wands. It's somebody. There's somebody here you decided not to take action towards. Okay. Maybe because it's like they broke your heart before or you feel like it would just lead to a heartbreak. Could be a Leo with a strength card. You get potential water here too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But there's someone here you decided not to take action towards because I feel like you kind of know where it would go. And you decided to take action towards what you've been actually wishing for here. Some of you guys be going to some place where there's like a beach. Okay. Then, okay. Yeah. You, I feel like you're you're avoiding the drama. You're avoiding the conflict here. You're getting away from all that. You know. There's somebody here that's trying to cause drama and conflict. And I feel like you're, no, you're like, you know what? Just get away from me. You know. <laughs> I feel like you guys are reconnecting back into your emotions when you go to this beach place. You're going to be having more fun with life. I see dolphins here. There's literally a dolphin here. So you could be going to some place where there's dolphins. You know. Maybe this feels like it was once impossible to you, but you're making it possible. Aquarius, this dream sort of vacation. Hermit. Once again, and you're also kind of going in this hermit mode, but you're celebrating. You're celebrating because you have peace. You have happiness. Okay, you don't have people bothering you. Queen of, uh, what is that? Swords. Queen of Swords could be yourself. There's someone here that's stuck on you, but I feel like you're like, you know what? Oh, well. Oh, well. Because when you were hurting, what were they doing? They were being cruel to you, Aquarius. When you were losing things, what were they doing? Being cruel. When you, when you were missing your pet or your animal here, when you lost your pet or your animal, what were they doing? They were being cruel. So I feel like you're, you're like, you know what? Oh, well. You know? When I needed you, you weren't there. So I feel like you're you're like, you know, they're going through their own tower moment, but I feel like you're like, sorry, but I can't do anything. You know. They weren't there when you needed them. So I feel like you're moving towards your wish of film, that's Aquarius. You're moving towards your abundance, what you've been truly wishing for. You're moving towards your miracles as well. There's miracles coming in and you're releasing. You're releasing the past. Some of you guys may also be rescuing an animal. We have the car here too. We could be fixing up a car. You're buying a new car here, Aquarius. All right, you're sitting here manifesting, okay? You're manifesting. What are you manifesting? What is Aquarius manifesting? You're manifesting leaping towards a new beginning, okay? You're manifesting your career as well, something within your career. Manifesting truth and clarity, answers answers to questions that you've been having you're like where is my answer i feel like you're getting upset okay you're about to walk away but you're about to get your answer aquarius and it's something to do with your career somebody finally answers you temperance some of you guys could have sagittarius in your birth chart here star star is yourself aquarius but you have victory so you're about to have victory don't walk away don't walk away from your career because you're about to have victory in it aquarius you're about to get some information that you needed there's somebody here that's rushing in to speak to you. And you're about to get your Ten of Pentacles. Your, your Ten of Pentacles is about to be rushing in. Once again, your career is about to be taking off for you. You're about to be making a lot of money. There's a lot of money here. There's the family. There's the dogs. There's the home here. There's love as well. Love is here in your readings. It keeps popping up. Some of you guys may be blocking the past as well. Aquarius, there's a King of Cups. There may be a King of Cups from the past that you're blocking. Okay. You're going through a major transformation here, and I feel like either we have you connecting with your sisters and your brothers here, or your soul sisters or your soul brothers here, and I feel like you're still operating for the good of humanity around you. Once again, you have love coming in. Mm -hmm. This is new love. This is abundance, Aquarius. You got abundance coming in. You got money. You got love here. You got the car. You got the vacation. You got the uh, the education here. You got the dogs. You know what I'm saying? You got success. You got victory. Once again, there's success and victory popping up in your reading. And I, fe I feel like you guys will be studying something for your career that's going to be extremely important for you. Once again, you got a new beginning. And once again, I feel like there's new love for you. Then maybe the past also trying to come back around, but I feel like you're not open to the past. You're more open to the new. Yeah, there may be t somebody here trying to reconcile with you, trying to be a fool again, and I feel like you're like, no. All right, because you see this person as a trickster here. And I feel like you're going to be moving on at that point. You may even be married to somebody else at that point that they try to come back around here. And I feel like they may not like it, but you know what? You snooze, you lose, loser. Okay. <laughs> 
Aquarius, you know, you're just done with the situation. You're done with their, their small love offers. You're done with their false love offers. This may have been a Pisces here, but you're done. You're done with them playing games. Okay. You're done with them not being serious here. And so you manifested somebody else or something else for your life. Okay. All this person, all this, this person did that just really procrastinated your relationship and didn't take you serious. All they really did was just cause heartbreak. And I feel like you're done with the heartbreak with them. All they did was lie to you here. They're extremely sneaky, extremely tricky, extremely toxic, extremely manipulative here, extremely controlling, you know. They also like to ignore you, uh, only really paid attention to you when they felt like paying attention to you. They were deceptive, you know, just just a horrible person, Aquarius. So I feel like you that's that's all the reasons why you walked away. Maybe they were a cheater as well. Maybe they did drugs. Maybe they did all these things, you know. And I feel like you're just like, no, you know, I don't want any of that. So I feel like you walked away, focusing on your career. You're gonna have justice for this. See once again, you as soon as you leave or as soon as you left, you're about to have justice for the situation. They're about to have a tower moment as soon as as soon as you fully let it all go. Okay. And once again, I feel like some of you guys may be moving on and getting married to somebody else. Yeah, you see, there could be a happy marriage with somebody else, Aquarius. All right, that may be coming in fast for you. If you chose it, there's somebody here rushing in. Okay? This so this is somebody coming in that's extremely spiritual, is what I feel like for you. We have Archangel Gabriel that was on this card, on this judgment card, and it's, it's Archangel Gabriel that blows the trumpet here, but um, some of you guys may have somebody coming your way that has that name. Um, this is a general reading, so it's not all going to apply to you, but it's just something that's that's sticking to me, Aquarius, but either way, it's a new beginning, all right? You may, you may just kind of start off as friends. Before you move into that relationship and kind of just debating, do we make it friends or relationship? But I feel like this is somebody here that's going to be admiring you a lot, Aquarius. Well, you're not really focused on them. You're not really paying attention. <laughs> so you're, you're going to be focusing on the changes of your life at that moment. That maybe you meet this person here. But I feel like they're going to be extremely interested. In, and you're going to be dealing with um, an ending when you meet them, Aquarius, but you're going to be moving on like the Empress. And I feel like they're going to be attracted to your Empressness. Okay. Queen of Swords. Once again, Queen of Swords is yourself where the male or female does not matter, but I feel like you're not dealing with a liar. Okay. You cut out a liar out of your life. Yeah. Once again, I feel like this person may have been a Pisces here. Pisces, fire. Maybe they had Leo in the birth chart. Maybe they're a Pisces son with like Leo in the birth chart somewhere. But I feel like they lied a lot, Aquarius. And I feel like you cut them out here. Like maybe they involved other people in your relationship here. Maybe they were a player. Maybe they just came in with false love offers, small love offers. Maybe they, you know, it's just like they were doing a lot of things that were very trifling. They were very, you know, sneaky. They cheated. They did all these things, Aquarius. And I feel like you're just cutting out whoever that person was. It's like you don't want to deal with it anymore. They cause a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety in your life. So you're, you're cutting them out. Okay. And you're just manifesting something else. Again, you're manifesting somebody else. This keeps popping up in your reading. Aquarius, you're letting go. It ended. It was a, a painful ending. It was a hurtful ending. But you're free from it now. And once again, when you fully release it, you're going to have justice. Because it's like this person was toxic here. They were extremely toxic. I feel like the devil has a hold of them. Aquarius as well. It feels like they bound themselves to the devil. But that's something they did themselves. It's not really something you did here. Because you're free. You're free like the empress. All right. And once again, you're moving on with somebody else. You're going to find somebody else. Somebody else that you're going to have a lot of feelings for. And I feel like you're going to be just ignoring the past. Okay, yeah, the past may miss you, but I feel like you're ignoring it. And they may be upset about that, but you know what? Who cares? Who cares at that point? Because you're just releasing. Aquarius, you release them. They were toxic. They cause a lot of problems, a lot of issues. And I feel like you're done with the issues and the problems. You're done with the burdens here. Okay, maybe you gave in a lot to that person anyways. And I feel, once again, you're just done with it. You're moving on to a new beginning. Okay? You're done. You're done, Aquarius. And you're celebrating the fact that you are done. Okay? There's also people coming in wanting to work with you, wanting to collaborate with you, Aquarius. you got options. you got options in terms of your career. you got options in terms of love. It's okay. Don't feel overwhelmed by it. You're going to be okay.
the moon is here again. All right, once again, connect with your moon sign. What you've been praying for, you've already received, or you're about to receive, Aquarius. Here, there's somebody here that's been working really hard. The Empress, once again, you're the Empress moving forward in this boat here. And, yeah, I feel like there's just somebody here you're not open to anymore. You're not open to the past anymore. You're moving on with your life. It's like, leave me alone. Get out of here, drama. You know, you're done with the drama. You're like, get, go away. You know, go, go. Victory. You got victory by saying, you know, just leave me alone. Because it's like you didn't want to deal with feeling stuck anymore. Okay? You didn't want to deal with players or people trying to play you, people trying to use you. Here, I also feel like you guys are popping up as healers. Once again, you guys are healing some people around you. There may be somebody here that's building something. So you may be building here, Aquarius. Um, there may be either you're a builder and you're having a home being built. Or there's somebody here that's building a home. Okay, but you're looking towards your future. You're looking towards what's next for you, Aquarius. The Hermit. Once again, we have you we have you focusing on the light. Alright, so let's go back over here. Once again, we have very strong Leo, but just really connecting back to your strength. And once again, there's new love. There's new love for Aquarius. There's money for Aquarius. Okay, there's somebody here that's thinking of the past. But I feel like that's not you. You're focusing here on your success. You're focusing here on your future, your career here. And I feel like you're about to have money moving in pretty quickly. All right, there's someone here that's stuck. But I feel like you're not stuck. You're getting to the top. Aquarius, there's people that are going to be wondering, how did Aquarius do this? Aquarius just did it. Aquarius took action. And now Aquarius is abundant. Okay. You got offers of abundance, Aquarius. You may be leaving two people out in the cold as well. Maybe moving, leaving two people out in the cold. Yeah, there's somebody. You're leaving two people stuck. One could be a Scorpio, one could be a Pisces here, but I feel like you're just really done with the situation. You're like, I ain't dealing with this anymore. Yeah, you're leaving two people behind. And you're manifesting two other things in your life, Aquarius. You're moving on. Again, there's just moving on. There's somebody else that you're going to be extremely close to. And once again, you may be moving to a different city, a new city here, somewhere somewhere else. There's something that's touching me, and I don't like it. Yeah, there may be a new relationship that you're moving into, Aquarius, or there's a new relationship coming your way. Yeah, and I'm getting married, all these things. This could be the happy relationship here. Uh, this, is, this is something that's rushing your way. Okay. And this is... Uh, we, have the, we have spirits that are trying to talk to you, Aquarius. We have you connected with your Pluto sign as well, but there's there's like a magician spirit that's trying to connect with you, trying to manifest with you. Yeah, trying to manifest justice is what it feels like. Okay. Go. Let's go back over here for a minute. All right, there's been like a battlefield. There's some the ones, there's somebody here that's really missing the past, but I feel like you're moving towards the new. There's a King of Cups here, okay? But they're sneaky. They're manipulative. There may be a King of Cups that misses you, a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but this person is a known liar. They're a known liar. They're a known cheater. They're known all these things, and I feel like you're just really done with them because it's like you don't want to deal with any of that, you know? You don't. You have your Ten of Pentacles coming in, okay? You have your large sum of money coming in. There's the money. There's the food. There's the drinks here. There's the King of Swords here. King of Swords be yourself, with male or female, it does not matter. This person may be confused by the fact that you don't want to talk to them, but again, if they're that oblivious to their own actions. This is how unaware they are. They, they feel like they did nothing wrong. Isn't that annoying? That's how much of a narcissist they are, Aquarius. They feel like they did nothing wrong. They should just be able to pop back up into your life whenever they want. And it, this, this person's behavior is disgusting. This person is disgusting. Yeah, ew. It's just ew. Okay. I feel like you're focusing on your work. You're ignoring this person. You're focusing on your work here. They may be trying to come in with their false love offer, but I feel like you are you already know how this person is. You already see them as somebody here that's toxic. And they are toxic here. And I feel like you're standing in your power and you're saying no. Okay. Mm -mm. 
This is somebody from the past that's trying to reach back out to you. And I feel like you're saying no and you're looking over your other options. Okay? And you do have somebody else coming in once again. Aquarius, or somebody else coming in. You've been wishing for this. It's coming in. Okay? There could be somebody... Somebody here you end up getting married to. There's also somebody here paying off a debt they owe. That could be you. That could be somebody around you. Star. Star could be yourself. Okay? Because we have Aquarius. Yeah, I feel like this person may be upset that you're moving on from them, but I mean, they, they shouldn't have been so horrible. Okay, you're manifesting. See, once again, you're manifesting somebody else. Okay. There's other things coming in for you. You're investing into your future. Okay, what you're investing into is going to be paying off for you. You guys are also popping up in somebody here that's spiritual, but we have the star again. So we go back over here. You guys are connecting with the Akashic Records, the Akashic Library here, and we need to get deeper into the spiritual message. That's what this is telling me, okay, which we will in a minute. But it feels like you guys you guys are tapping into your emotional side. When, when you start connecting more with your spirituality, you're going to be opening up more um, emotionally, and you're going to be tapping into your psychic side, your intuitive side. Again, Aquarius, you're going to be tapping into your power, your own spiritual power and your own spiritual authority. And there's, there's going to be the younger generation that's going to be looking up to you while you're doing this, Aquarius. Because you're going to be tapping into your own strength, not letting other people bully you. And it feels like it's inspiring to people around you. There's a spirit trying to reach out to you at night, Aquarius. I feel like it's the moon. Yeah, you're about to have a lot of wealth coming in for you. But we need to get deeper into the spiritual message, so let's do that. So tell me what we have for Aquarius. Number 40, with visualization, imagination, focus, experience, manifestation. So you need to you need to visualize what you're trying to manifest. Visualize it already happening for you, Aquarius. Love. If it's something to do with love, it could be romantic love or it could be the, the pet here too because we have a dog. Number 24, with love, kindness, benevolence, sharing, receiving. You see? It could be something with love here. There's many different types of love. Could be, like I said, it could be the pet. You know, when you love your pet. It could be the romantic relationship. could be family love. could be friends. Whatever. Uh, number 25 with passion. Desire, fun, fulfillment, joy. Really visualizing what you're passionate about. Really visualizing what you want for your life. What you desire. Aquarius. What you emotionally desire here. Uh, number 11 with emotions. Feelings, expression, moods, balance. So really, once again, tapping into those emotions. And manifesting with your emotions. Visualizing. Okay, what your desires are. If you go over here. So let's see more with these cards. We're 57 with Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius again. Sagittarius is all about exploring. It's all about trying the new here. So maybe you're exploring, maybe you're trying the new. We're 14 with Angel Light. We're 24 with Tiger's Eye. We have fours. Fours are stability. Okay, foundation. Some of you guys may need to be connecting with these stones too. We have number 11 with Sarasvati, which is like the goddess of like knowledge and music. All right, so let's see the messages with these cards. I don't remember all the messages. So with Sars Valley, it says, the words I speak shape my reality. See, what you speak is going to happen, Aquarius. What you speak is going to manifest. So that's something to keep in mind. It says, this Hindu goddess of knowledge, art, and learning, her forearms symbolize a variety of things, including her presence both in the physical and spiritual worlds. The instrument that she is often depicted with is a string instrument known as the vena. As the goddess associated with speech, Sars Valley calls attention to how powerful our words can be. Our thoughts become our words, and there is magic to be harnessed in both. Spend time being conscious of your thoughts, and when you speak aloud, tuning into the vibration and tone of your expressions. Next time there is something important you want to express, take a few moments to go within and find the right frequency and vibration before you speak. Know that you are creating your reality through your thoughts, words, and actions. Let this goddess act as a meaning, as a as a reassuring reminder that you can speak magic into your life. 
Okay. How can I be more conscious of my thoughts and words? Then we have Angelite. I'm attuned to my third eye and psychic abilities. Angelite is a pale blue stone that connects with the higher chakras to enhance your psychic abilities. It is also used to aid in communication and dream interpretation. This stone is calling for you to connect with your third eye. Your guides have been trying to reach you, and connecting with your pineal gland will help you get their messages to you. If you aren't quite sure where or how to hear these messages, think of any easy-to-understand messages that have been sent to you in the past. Bird feathers, repeating numbers, and butterflies crossing your path are all examples of ways that your guides may have been trying to reach out to you previously. Keep your eyes open, all of them, and create space for your guides to communicate with you. You will want to hear what they have to say. The question is, how do I typically receive signs from my guides? So it's paying, paying attention to the signs and messages that you are receiving, Aquarius. Okay? Number 24, with Tiger's Eye. I connect with my roots so that I may heal. Okay, so it's connected with your roots, Aquarius. Maybe even your ancestral roots so that you can heal. With reflective stripes that glimmer in the sun, this golden brown stone is a bridge to connect you with the earth. Tiger's Eye can help promote clarity, dispel anxiety, and bring you good luck. Connecting with the root chakra. Tiger's Eye is a stone that encourages grounding and connecting with your roots, both ancestral and out in nature. Whether you are directly familiar with your ancestors or not, you can connect with them in meditation and in the dream world. You're born this lifetime to heal and connect with your highest self, but in order to do that, there can be a lot of deep work to do on healing the root. The root causes and issues around ancestral wounds in your lineage. Allow nature to be your companion on this journey, and take some time to connect with the trees, flowers, and the dirt beneath your feet. Welcome the life force of the planet that's always available to you. The question is, how can I learn more about myself by looking at the patterns of my lineage? Okay, Aquarius. Number 57 with Sagittarius. It says, I am answering the call to explore. So like I said, explore. Sagittarius can be found exploring the city they recently read about in the newest romantic comedy, feeling the need to for adventure and exploration. Sagittarius planned an exciting trip filled with historical tours, museums, and people watching. Aside from escapades, Sagittarius loves to expand their minds and see diversity firsthand. Sagittarius is a call to get out there. A natural curiosity is reaching out to you, urging you to take a leap and chase after the thrills of life. Now's the time to be spontaneous let nothing stand in the way. You're brilliant and can figure anything out. Your energy is limitless. You just have to embrace the path of your most aligned, highest self. Sagittarius is all about welcoming the unfamiliar and being open to new ways of living. Be open to seeing and feeling everything in life with a renewed perspective. And the question is, what am I interested in? How can I learn about it in a unique way? All right, then let's go over to these cards over here. See a message for you? So yeah, exploring, grounding yourself so that you may heal, connecting with your, your ancestors, Aquarius. Uh, what you speak is powerful. And really paying attention to the messages and signs that spirits trying to send you. There's a card that just fell out. Number five with Dance of the Butterfly Queen. Now, I don't remember this message at all. So, I'm going to have a look at that. But five is about change. So it says, A pure heart and sincere love attracts divine grace. With the grace of Kuan Yin, Butterfly Queen... That which was impossible becomes possible. See, this is what we've been talking about through your reading. Through your readings? Making something impossible possible. And that, that's going to be... We're going to be making that happen with this card, Aquarius, because it has a message with it. Pay attention. Okay? From caterpillar to winged creature of delight, you cannot restrain what divine grace ordains. No matter how incredible it may seem to be, whether it's been troubling you or whatever has been inspiring you, allow grace to infuse the situation or dream so that it may unfold with divine perfection. Allow the Butterfly Queen to dance. She will bring healing and grace to your life situation now. Beloved one, with lightness of step and grace in her heart. Divine grace flows through the Butterfly Queen with lightness of touch and great joy. She bestows great blessings of healing, empowerment, and liberation. It flows through those in genuine need and who are ready to receive it. There are no limits to what is possible with Divine Grace. It is the power that the Butterfly Queen, Kuan Yin, Allows to flow through the pure channel of her heart. 
Kuan Yin encourages you to be ready to receive her grace and to choose let go of striving and instead turn to your heart, calling out unconditional divine love and beloved Kuan Yin to dance her grace through your life. Divine grace is not suddenly having a valuable lesson taken away from you. It is the intervention of compassionate, unconditional, loving divine intelligence that helps you realize you have learned what you can and it is now time for you to be desisted out of the situation. Okay, this is also what we'll be talking about through your reading. To be lifted up into a new vibrational experience, turn your mind to the expectation of peaceful resolution and inspirational assistance. Let go of deep feelings of unworthiness that require you must continue to struggle with limited resources on your own. Surrender false notions that allowing others to assist you is dependency, whether these are in human form or spiritual form or on the inner planes. It is inter interdependence to allow yourself to be assisted and to assist others. You are not handing over your power. You are allowing empowered divine relationship to make your power grow so that you can rise above and be blessed. Butterfly Queen urges you now to let the heaviness of the situation go. Okay? Allow your heart to become light as air, as though her butterfly dance was tickling your heart so lightly now. Her grace is reaching to you now, beloved. And here's Healing Dance of the Butterfly Queen. Allow yourself to find a place in nature or where you can observe something that is beautiful, peaceful, or perhaps sit before your altar at home with some flowers on it or even a picture of a beautiful place that you love. You can even close your eyes and visualize that you are in a beautiful, serene place in nature. Allow yourself to notice how every element of that nature's natural setting just is. The water just flows, the trees just grow, the sun just shines, and the rain just falls. There's no effort, there's just flow. Imagine now that your life, with all its various components and people, is like a scene in nature. Imagine the energy just flowing without restraint. Imagine as you let go of the effort and struggle to get through, to get things the way you want them. They are suddenly able to flow and change, to grow as they are meant to grow, naturally, according to divine plan and grace that fills our universe. Say, I now gratefully receive the divine grace and unconditional love of Kuan Yin, Butterfly Queen. Thank you for blessing the grace that now dances through me. May this grace transform my heart and my life into an expression of pure love and higher consciousness. I surrender into the sweetness of your grace and joyful flow of life. There's a prayer. I now choose to surrender struggle and doubt and open to the blessings of Kuan Yin's divine grace, through which all manner of things become possible. Butterfly Queen, may I hear in my own heart the divine music of joy and peace to that which you dance. Okay. Now let's go over to these cards. Let me put these away. But let's go over to these cards really quickly. But yeah, that, that's what's going to allow this this change, Aquarius. This letting go of struggle and into the blessings. Okay? Once again, there's somebody here that's coming your way. What you do with them, that's going to be up to you. But we have the crows here. Maybe this person is in association with crows, temperance. We have Sagittarius here too. But we also have you connected with the guardian angel. Here, we have you connected with your sun sign and your moon sign here too, but some of you guys can have a Sagittarius coming your way. Empress is here again, Six of Cups. There's somebody here that's thinking about their past, somebody here that's thinking about their childhood here, a childhood dog they used to have. Either that could be you, or maybe that could be this person. I feel like you're bored. You're bored of something. You want more fun in your life. You want more celebration here. You've realized something. Maybe you realize you want more celebration. Maybe you got a different perspective, Aquarius. Maybe you got a different perspective of a king of swords. Maybe you got a different perspective of an air sign here, like yourself, a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Or maybe you know something, like you receive some sort of psychic message about this person, or you realize something about this person, Aquarius, here. Once again, we have you manifesting. We have you manifesting with the moon. Some of you guys be doing some sort of money manifestation. There's something you've been praying for that you're about to receive. There's also like a team or there's somebody here wanting to work with you. There's some, there's somebody, okay. There's people wanting to work with you. People wanting to collaborate with you here. Your money's coming in, but I feel like there may be somebody here coming your way that 
I feel like you realize something about, okay, usually, look at this, this is, this is change as well, look at this change right here, because normally when we do this reading here, the king and queen of swords, they're facing opposite directions, they're not even looking at each other, but look at this, you guys are actually looking at each other, so now you, you guys are actually looking at each other, here, I feel like you've got a new perspective of this person, and I feel like they're looking at you, some of you guys can end up being in a relationship with this person here, this king of swords here, air sign. Uh, it could be the happy relationship, happy family, if you chose it. If you've been praying for it, I guess, if you've been trying to manifest it, that could be happening. Yeah, but overall, there's blessings coming into your life, Aquarius. There's change, there's letting go, there's new beginnings, there's love, there's money, there's the dog, family, the car, you know. List goes on. But that is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also go check out my website for even more content on there too, Aquarius. All right, so that is what I have for you, and goodbye.